MMA made easy, where we break hard techniques in easy chunks. Today we're going to be looking at the reverse forearm smash. Uh, please, please be very, very careful when learning this move. You do not want to hurt your elbow. You can hyperextend it. Uh, you can also strain a lot of the muscles and the tendons in your arms. So please, please be very gentle when practicing this. Uh, I've done this before, so I've built up to it. So please, um, just be gentle with yourselves, okay? You cannot paint if your canvas is ripped. Martial arts is, is a art, so uh, don't damage your body, okay? So, what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna do a cross net version of this. It seems to be the most uh, effective. So, I'm gonna be here, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come through with uh, the side of my arm. Now, what I'm doing there is, I'm coming around, and I'm literally hitting, so that my arm is coming through flat and I'm hitting with this part of my arm. You'll notice that my arm has a slight bend to it. Okay, just to show you different angles. Okay, it has a slight bend to it, which allows for the impact to be absorbed. It's not 100% straight. Having said that, um, I've done that before, so that level of impact for a first time person would be, uh, well, not advised at all, okay? You could hurt your elbow. So how you want to start off learning this is as a flail bow. A flail bow looks like this. You come around, you throw your hook, but then instead of uh, hitting with a hook, you do that with your knuckles, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come around here with the back of your hand or with your wrist, come around this way. Like this. Okay? So what I'm doing is I'm coming around and I'm hitting right here like this. Like this, okay? Um, so this is a great way to build up to this because it doesn't put any pressure on your elbow. Um, and it's not a super strong strike, but you'll find it's very difficult to block. Now you can put a lot more of into it if you so choose. And then again, you start running the risk of hurting your elbow. So start nice and light, just to start. Just to kind of get a feel for it. I'm hitting with the back of my wrist here. Just kind of moving around. Like this. What you can do is you can have a partner hold up a nice light tie pad. Uh, and just very lightly tap it and just kind of feel the pressure on your arms and your elbows. Just like when you first started learning martial arts, uh, first front kick you throw, you could hurt your ankle. The first punch you throw, you could hurt your wrist. This is one of those techniques where you want to treat yourself like a newbie, start off slow uh, to avoid injury of any kind.